picked me up at the airport, and Scott as well. Uh, Scott from Birchport is here with me. It's been a long morning, and uh, Cody's got us lost. He's the guide. He's from, are you a local? Yeah, technically I am, yeah. I'm from Nova Scotia, so I'm a Nova Scotia, yeah. Uh, we've only been out of the airport for like, what, five minutes, Scott? Very And we're lost. It's a small province, if you just keep going, you'll find out where you're going. <laughs> They, uh, we're at the Milford house and we're at the Maple Cabin for the night before Maples. we head off into our adventure. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had our first emergency. Yeah, we were, we were filling up our, our platypuses. <laughs> That's what it's called, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. And we spilled some. We spilled a whole bunch. This is how all your videos start, <laughs> isn't it? Oh no! <laughs> Do we have enough? Let's go. All right, we're going for dinner at the Milford House. Really exciting time. And uh, yeah, lovely place, uh, great. Uh, and we're a little tired, actually, you can probably tell. Okay, put a tear in your eye. Here. Yeah. Look, there's a wine made in Nova Scotia? There's a lot there's of wine made in Nova Scotia. Really? Several. Really? Yeah. All right, um, what would you suggest? I would go with the Riesling for this season. I'm gonna go with the Riesling, uh, because if it's not any good, I can blame her. Yes. Uh, we're, we're having a local Nova Scotia wine at the Milford House, and we're going off to the Woodlands tomorrow, so maybe you'll make it a double. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, what are we looking at? I, don't know, I was about to read it, but you turned the camera on. Well, then hurry this, this and read it. Tell me what it is. This is the made in, in 2008 as the, for the 100th anniversary of the uh, publishing of Tent Dwellers. Uh, so from this spot, uh, Dr. Edward, Eddie, uh, and, and Al, Summarizing and, and Charles is strong and and Dell the stout um, This is where they departed for their through their epic adventure And from from this point this is this is commemorating yep. the the place where they began their, their their trip that ended up being published as the tent dwellers And this is where we're and this is this is this we're, is where we're staying. Are you yes. excited? I'm very excited. Yeah tomorrow it begins and today was an amazing beginning to the trip, really. Uh, enjoying our time at, at Milford House. Are you glad I got you up so early to the airport? No, but I'm glad I'm here. <laughs> we have no whiskey, we have no fire, but we got a story. This is uh, Milford House, we're uh, in Nova Scotia. Uh, Scott and I are going with, uh, with uh, uh, Cody tomorrow and we're, we're retracing the Tent Dwellers trip of 1906 where the book came out in 1908. He's here and started here. So, yeah. th th sorry, th these are very lovely people. Charlie and what, what name tag? Uh, the gentleman manager of Al. So, what was the story what, what, about this place? Uh, this place started out as a um, lodge for stagecoaches that came through from Annapolis to Caledonia. It was about halfway in between. They used to stop and change their horses and they'd come in for a tea and to freshen up. Um, Del Thomas himself, uh, the husband that uh, that uh, operated the place. He was a he was a guy back in those days. You didn't have to be licensed or anything. You just said you were a guy, and poof, you were. He would take uh, sportsmen out in the backwoods, uh, moose hunting and deer hunting and uh, and uh, a trout fishing. Why here? It's because we're we're smack in the middle of the province. We've got hundreds and hundreds of acres. Uh, Kedgee National Park is just uh, about 20 minutes up the road. It's uh, it's inland far enough that you're uh, away from the uh, away from the busier touristy uh, places and it uh, has a lot to offer. The, the rivers and lakes all connect. Uh, the lake in back of us here feeds into another lake, into another lake, into another lake. And with rivers, the Mersey River and uh, back to the Toviata, you can go from here to the Atlantic coast uh, via the waterways. Oh, well, fantastic. Via the waterways fantastic. Here. And you seem to lost the book. Get this. I'm lost for words. <laughs> okay, so the, the original one, the, uh, 1908 version of the Tent Dwellers book was put under lock and key. So he put the white gloves on, yep. put a mask on, opened it up, the book's gone. Well, we're going to open the, the little case here that we put our um, book in. This is Wilderness Pets. This is a book by Eddie Breck as yep. well. But we'll bring the other one out too, right? The Way of the Woods. Yeah. And our original tent dwellers isn't in there. Um, it's a mystery. It's a mystery. Yes. I, I think I've probably taken that out to do something with it and forgot where I put it. Well, I think it's, so in, it's in, the, in the outhouse. Someone probably <laughs> bought it. They, they borrowed the pages off it <laughs> after a big meal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I've been here roughly around 32 years. Wow. And uh, well, okay. much enjoyed it. 
met a lot of nice people, you know. It's not unusual for us to have a family in here with four generations. Mm -hmm. um, Grandpa used to come when he was a little boy, and now he brings his kids and the, those kids yeah. and then the, you know, the little infant before generations sitting at one table for, for Oh, you know. great. Now, you seem to know Cody, the guy that's uh, guiding uh, um, Scott and I on, yeah. on their expedition tomorrow. Yeah. Should I trust the man? Oh, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Good, man. good attractive man. man. Oh, yeah. Tom Cruise. No, no, Tom nice Cruise looking like. No. You yes. should have married him when I had the chance, I tell you that. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. We're going on an adventure tomorrow, and we had a lovely night at the Milford uh, Milford House, and lovely guests, uh, lovely guests, lovely, no, what are they, who are they called? Hosts. 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 Lovely hosts, uh, and hosts. the meal was fantastic, actually. Yeah. So, yeah, and we're having breakfast before we leave, because that's what we do in Nova Scotia. Eat. Great. Eat. <laughs> Eat. Eat, yeah. Cut! So we have a ginormous portage tomorrow. Yep, 2.3 kilometers. Your idea to do this trip, not mine. Well, I didn't, like, look at the map. 2 point, so that's bigger than, like, 200 meters. Because I like 200 meter portages. That's not what we're doing. I know, it's too bad. It's a good thing we got lots of camera gear here. Yeah. Could we actually follow the tradition of the book and ask our, our guide, Cody, to carry everything? We already established that at dinner, I thought. I don't think he was taking us serious. Well, I was serious. I wasn't joking around. That's why I agreed to this, because I read the book. I honestly read the book. I did. And the guides did everything while the, while Al and, what's this, Eddie? And I fished. I just need a fishing rod. I'm good to go.